All right, in today's branding, we are going to be looking or drawing some lessons, five to be precise, from one of the most recent big brand refresh on the face of our beloved continent, Africa. And that's no other than the telecom giant, MTN. Now I should say the tech giant, MTN. MTN is moving, or I should say MTN have moved from everywhere you go to what are we doing today. So what are we doing today? I think we are, we are subscribing to more consulting and branding content on this channel. Okay, away from that. I actually noticed this last Sunday at the Amado Ejo Stadium in Hyundai, Cameroon, where PWD Bamenda was playing the finals of the Cameroon Cup against Les Astres de Douala. Big shout out to the Abaco boys for the medals proud by winning the cup. So I saw the new icon MTN. I was like, I have been noticing this black and yellow more often than not. What's happening? Then I checked that up and then I found Ayo Fosayo's video on the subject and also so many news articles that are talking about it. So if you are thinking of rebranding your project or business, here are some points to consider. Lesson number one, the rebrand or refresh should push people to the new direction but integrate seamlessly into the consumer's mind without any switch. Before watching this video, there is a high chance you have not noticed MTN logo has changed, especially if you, are a very, if you pay very little attention to them and live in Cameroon as well. The refresh was so successful that you will hardly even need to change anything about your current MTN branded stuffs. Lesson number two, the key changes are in the messaging and the company's vision, not necessarily how things look. So you focus on changing your message and your vision and not necessarily changing how you appear. Yet, the new message has to be filled in a new style. Maybe you just need to make some little switch in terms of photography or font or just a pop and not necessarily a drastic change. I mean, lesson number three, I would directly just say avoid being dramatic. Avoid, being, avoid, avoid doing a dramatic color change. Look to place more accent on certain things. For instance, MTN plays more accent on black and yellow, but the former colors can be used for styling. I haven't seen their brand guide yet to actually confirm that some of those colors have been maintained, but there's a high possibility that the colors are going to be used somehow. But in most branding that feel, you realize that there is a drastic color change, that the old, color, the old colors are forgotten. Sometimes you need a total overhaul, but this is in a case where you have a different plan, not necessarily just a refresh. In a refresh, you don't change everything. Okay. Rebrands decomplexifies, not to make it more complex. Some people rebrand their business and they rather make it look more difficult than the way it originally was. Rebrand is about reduction. It is to make things simple, to integrate better in a new universe of things. The company wants to place itself into a new stratosphere. The new brand identity is modern, simple, bold, and digitally dynamic. By digital dynamism, we mean it can fit across multiple platforms or multiple universes seamlessly. It kicks off with a provocative and simple question. What are we doing today? With a clear and concise brand strategy that combines opportunity plus energy to issue progress, MTN understands that to truly unlock the full benefit and potential of the digital world, people require a combination of drive, progressive thinking, and the right tools. And so that is what they are out to do. And they therefore wanted to communicate this message in a way that people would understand the change. So they needed to do a little bit of a tweak in their branding for people to notice some change, but still feel they belong. So you realize here that a lot of things can change, but do not go dramatic. Talking about energy in the previous mention, you see that we have seen a lot of conventional energy moves, like total energy move from conventional energy to renewable energy, placing more focus, and you have noticed it in their brand refresh as well. It is not the first time we have seen such moves, as we first of all noticed the switch also from oil Libya becoming OLA energy, just for similar reasons, in interest in renewable energy. But the changes are seamless. Bigger vision usually requires a brand refresh to announce the change. That brings us to the next lesson. Big companies make big moves to announce their rebrand. Total sponsor, the just ended African Cup of Nations, and much more. M10 is coming back to sponsor national championships like the elite one in Cameroon and in many other countries. I'm saying as a small brand, do your switch in a way that your new part will be noticed, but you will not need to spend so much on messaging and communication. 
Yeah. So you cannot compete with a big brand to put out those heavy investments to pass the message across. Therefore, you need to do a seamless switch that integrates as though nothing even changed, whereas some reductions have been done. I mean, MTN have done it so well, and honestly, I love the new logo. Nothing much different from the first one but way simpler. I could just open up Microsoft Word, type MTN, choose the Montserrat font, bold it, and insert a circle, distort it a little bit, remove the fill from the circle, and increase the line width, and I have the MTN logo. It works so well across multiple platforms. For the typography style, I noticed a similarity with blue. You know Camtel, the Cameroon telecommunication giant, Camtel just recently became blue. I mean, the new blue is just as easier to work with as MTN's own looks. I had waited for this rebrand to happen for some time. Look at the type style, yep. I'm beginning to think this is the way most tech companies are going. And I, I have a question in mind. I'm thinking, should we expect a rebrand from another French tech giant that's orange? Well, I don't think so, because the branding, they have, a, they have a very good brand. Their branding is so good. But you never know, these days you can just get anything. You never know what to expect from these people. All right. That's been it for this video. So recap for you, rebranding tips. Establish the purpose of the rebrand before going right into the rebrand. First, make sure you have a clear mission and purpose. Have a clear brand vision. Make your rebrand known. Stay consistent. Do not do dramatic changes. Experiment and be creative. But notify your vendors of the change. If you love such video, subscribe and be the first to know when a new one pops up next week. A like helps push the video to others who might enjoy it like you. That's been it. I am Habas, your brand partner. Catch you in the next one.